Welcome back Halo followers. Today we're going to be talking about are elites customizable? There is some solid evidence that that is the case as well as all the armors we're going to be discussing what exactly is obvious and what isn't obvious here. Things that have been hidden in these images and I want to break it all down because this is really cool. We're going to be talking about the main menu. Uh, what is that, What is confirmed as far as uh, what you can customize on your Spartan because it's a lot of stuff. I mean, it is a lot of stuff. Guys, before we jump into it, be sure to smash that like button blue and subscribe. Join me on the journey of following Halo for over nine years going on to 10. So firstly, let's take a look at the sniper rifle here as well as the rocket launcher. So we see this hollow table. We actually do see this hollow table later in the other screenshots, but take note of the room in the background. There's some warthogs there. All right, that's important. All right, this is so cool. These are the new default weapon skins, most likely for the sniper rifle, as well as the rocket launcher. But what we are looking at here, okay, is probably where you are able to customize your own weapons as far as armor coatings, but for weapons rather. So certainly there's going to be weapon skins. We already know that that, that is a confirmed thing. And we've seen that, that in the screenshots later, but that Spartan standing to the right, all right, notice that well, there's a Spartan standing there. That is probably going to be your Spartan here because this whole room, this whole setup here is most likely the main menu, all right? Usually the main menus look really epic, you know, really beautiful. So maybe it's uh, going to be outer space somewhere as it usually is, you know, the main menu. But when you click on customize, you're going to probably go to this room, which is most likely the infinity. And I could go into why that is for story reasons. Basically, it's the only ship that is uh, that can actually maybe stand off, uh, have a standoff with Cortana. And I think it's going to play some big important role in the story. So it makes sense that that is where we are and is sort of, sort of like the base of operations fighting Cortana as well as the Banished. So um, this screen is most likely where we are going to select our skins as far as the weapons. And we actually see a bunch of new armors, uh, lots of new skins, but they say one way to look at the inventory systems is to look at the breadth and scope. How many things can I customize and how many choices within it do I have? Reach allowed the player a lot of individual customization types on the single armor suit with each type having many options. We knew we had to return that level to that level and also do more, all right? They are doing Halo Reach customization, all right? And bringing back all the things, all right? All the things from Reach and they confirm it here, all right? To dial it in a little, the geo that could be changed or added in Reach was helmet, Helmet attachment, chest, shoulder pads left and right, knee guards, wrist gear, and utility as well as visor color. Dates will be back and we will go further. All right, so big confirmations there. Everything you were able to customize and reach will be customizable here as far as selection places on your Spartan. All right, personally, I have always loved visors and we will have a surprise to show soon. Now, keep in mind, reach is a game, one of the Halo games that allowed you to play as an elite as you wish. It would seem pretty jarring for me to, uh, for them to not add the elite. In fact, there is very solid evidence that we will be able to play as another species. And that is pretty much in every one of these images. You see that there's like this circular pad uh, underneath the Spartan. And that is most likely where we're going to be able to customize the Spartans, which I'll talk about soon. But if you look to the right, it's just kind of snuck in there. There is another circular pad, which would make sense for another species to be. For example, the elites. Uh, some some rumors, some some leaks have been you know talking about playing as brutes. I think those have been confirmed fake, but it is a possibility since the banished, the brutes are such a big thing in Halo Infinite. Uh, their return is such a big thing. Um, it certainly will be a possibility, I think. I think it would be awesome if we could play as, you know, three different species, you know, Spartans, uh, you know, the Sinkili, as well as the Brutes. I want to talk about uh, George's armor here in a, in a moment, because George's armor seems to be returning, including the helmet, the shoulders, as well as the wrist, all right? At least the right wrist locket thing he has, as well as the knee pads. But th some things have changed with George here, um, including the backpack not being there, as well as uh, the chest. So uh, let's talk about this last piece of information and then we'll get into George. Uh, they say, I understand that there is a level of being vague that is unconsciousable and I am riding on that line hard, but we do want to save some surprises for later. And they say, 
um, we're not doing, done showing players what they can do there. Likewise, players have seen codings for weapons and vehicles. They know about that, but that's not all that they'll be able to customize there either. So basically, what it seems like they heavily implied there was that, yes, you can change the codings for your vehicles, but that is not the only thing you can change about your AR or your Warthog, all right? Not just the colors like you can change on the, the Spartans here, all right? I think that means just like the Spartans are customizable with their shoulders, their knees, and armor and stuff, you can probably change how the front seats look on your Warthog or how the window looks or, you know, the wheel size or wheel shape, you know, and, um, you know, the bumper, uh, maybe taking on or off the gas tanks or mixing it up, making your Warthog as customizable as your Spartan is, essentially. So I think that is the next step. That always made sense to me. And it seems like they just low-key confirmed it here. Not absolutely, but they just basically said there is more than just customizing your color, right? For your vehicles and weapons, too. Weapons are going to probably be customizable just like your Spartans are as far as cosmetics go. So I think that all of the Reach armor is coming back. All right, this is absolutely huge. I think that, you know, if we're talking about, like, the next evolution of Halo armor, that's going to be great. You know, a new version of the Mark VI uh, becoming the Mark VII, right, is great. That's coming in the game, obviously, probably going to be the default armor. But think about the Air, the Air Assault, the Commando, the CQB, the C, uh, QC, the EOD, EVA. These armors are, probably are not coming back as alterations or, you know, like upgraded versions of them, but they are coming back in their original style, just as we can see with George's armor here. There is no major changes to his helmet, as well as the other pieces of armor on him. So, when you think about, you know, when, when this game has been heavily inspired by Reach, uh, I think that the, fir the game is going to start on Reach, and that's going to be the first gameplay, uh, first time we play a mission is going to be on Reach, as well as, you know, the book is about returning to Reach. This game is obviously honoring Reach in some very big ways, so all the armor, okay? Uh, Monier Mark V, Pilot, Operator, Mark V, all right, Noble Six's Helmet, Scout, Recon, these things are not confirmed to be in the game, but I think at this point, it is complete, completely reasonable to think that they are coming, all right? Maybe even George's machine gun here that we see, all right? So it's it's interesting to me that, that they're choosing to reveal George here. I think this is a subtle hint that it's kind of backing up my theory that um, we are getting everything here. Now, uh, there are some differences between uh, George, you know, thick George from Reach, as well as his uh, Halo Infinite counterpart here, and that is... Uh, basically the chest is gone all right the chest might be there but notice that his armor is much thinner all right and uh, especially the shins uh, down by his legs are different uh, and by different I mean really they're just less thick so maybe we'll be able to bulk in our Spartan up with you know more bulkier armor and they just chose not to do it here but maybe we can have uh, different sized pieces of armor, you know, variations that are bulkier or thinner so we can really uh, customize the Spartan we want to. You know, and seeing all these armors, honestly, are making me kind of open to the idea of there being armor coatings, honestly. Believe it or not, all right? This looks really great. So this armor is actually called Noble Defender Armor Coating. Work in progress. This armor is looking absolutely fantastic. It looks like Reach but upgraded. It looks like Halo 3, but upgraded, but mostly Reach here in this case. It looks absolutely fantastic. I love the texture, the shading on it. Halo 4 and 5's armor was plastic, all right? It literally looked like plastic. Here, that is not the case. This looks so good, so phenomenal. They nailed the black undersuits, all right? Have you guys noticed that? This armor uh, is really, uh, it does not look like 343 did this it looks like Bungie had did, uh, done this like for a cinematic back in the day and this is going to be pretty much the default you know texture and armor coning I guess or r rather just the the materials are probably going to look similar to this not like plastic is what I'm trying to get at but this looks great let's move on to the scorpion punch armor coating all right a lot of people love this this seems to be a fan favorite already one thing I have not mentioned already is the that assault rifle okay that is probably, maybe it, it's also the Scorpion Punch armor coating for the AR. I don't know if these uh, are, you know, coordinated with each other, like there's an AR version or, uh, you know, weapon skins that kind of coordinate with the armor coating for the Spartan, but 
just taking a look at this guy, man. This is so sexy, all right? Keep in mind that the art style has been modified greatly from Halo 4 and Halo 5s. This has been done in a way that is very simplistic as far as shapes and polygons go. go. So it, it doesn't look real and, it, and it, I don't think Halo should look real or photorealistic or, you know, really nice. It has a very, very carefully done uh, art style to it and I think they nailed it here and this is it, it raises my confidence a lot with 343 like I have a lot of confidence with them at this point now with, I'm starting to with things because this is just so well done you can see the specular maps really going on it just oh and like the soft but still very detailed textures and reflection on this <laughs> I mean it, it just looks so great and take a look at that chest plate that is a very interesting chest plate very very simple in design it looks like halo 3 anniversary all right this stuff looks like it was made by bungie i can still see some things kind of creeping through like things kind of getting a little bit due to due to detail but i think at this point it's welcomed it is 2020 after all so still the shapes are very unique okay so there's not much that we know about this armor coating in particular but take a look at that thigh right there take away uh take a look at the um or rather utility but also the shoes all right so our boots i guess we'll call them boots but the boots are actually different i've, I've only seen two types of boots between all these armor coatings but this one in particular is uh, is different from george's and i thought that was interesting because i that's really a part of you know a spartan that we've never been able to customize so really what is confirmed here is you know customizing the helmet the helmet attachment you know the shoulders obviously the chest plate uh, as well as the wrists, but oh and the knee pads of course too But one thing that we've never been able to actually Customize ever before is the space diaper. Okay. I think the space diaper should be customizable as well as that undersuit um, Would 343 be ballsy enough? All right to allow us to change this piece. All right the cup piece All right, just just throwing it out there 343. It's not too late, right? You got a year um, as well as the thigh piece. These pieces in green have never been independently customizable, and I think that that is where we're heading, as well as that piece right there, all right, the knuckle piece. I think that'd be great. Also, the visor has always been customizable, but I think we should also have katana, baby, all right? Something, <laughs> something like Halo 3 would be great, like the katana in the background. I think the backpack area has just been kind of really ignored as far as customization has gone, but I think there there should totally be something that um, backpack should be a complete new sl selection. Um, but the shins, all right, the shins have never been independ uh, independently customizable as well as the feet. Okay, the boots, all right, and we're seeing different boots here. So maybe, just maybe they will finally be customizable. They were a huge thing that you could change in Halo 4. Again, they weren't independently customizable, but they did certainly include different boot selections as far as like your lower half of your body. I forgot Halo 4's customization. I know it was better than Halo 5, so. But yeah, I mean, at that point, if 343 gets all these green sections customizable, I don't know what else you could change or add to your Spartan. Maybe adding shoulder attachments all right that might be going a little bit too much adding extra attachments to really anything in red adding like uh, maybe a secondary helmet attachment maybe overkill but i don't know can you think of anything else because i think that's the whole 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 spartan right there all right moving on to our next coating this is the splinter desert armor coating okay different armor here you see the green visor a new helmet as well as what looks like a new knuckle piece, all right? So take a look at those knuckles, okay? I did not notice that before, but that's pretty cool, all right? He's got something there. So again, maybe that might be customizable, you know, on the, the hand, the fist part. Um, but the chest is looking pretty great. I love it. Again, very simple. And he is holding the bulldog. I thought that was the SMG, but that is what, what I think is now the bulldog, as some people pointed out in my last video. Space diaper is uh, looking pretty much the same, all right? But it's different for uh, George's armor. So, again, maybe we might have something. That might just be because, you know, it's a special skin for Noble Defender. But 
uh, no p special piece for Noble Defender. But anyway, I think we'll have customizable uh, space diapers. All right. The knee pads are looking pretty sexy. There's different shins uh, between these Spartans, especially between Noble Defender. And yeah, different boots. So not much to say about this beyond that, uh, except for the utility really stood out to me. I love that utility. It looks like he's holding a couple flash grenades, uh, a couple shotgun shells there, and a little pouch. Probably all just cosmetic, but I think it'd be cool if our like current loadouts and weapons actually had, um, uh, you know, actually were integrated on our suit. Like how much ammo we have would actually show on the body. That would be kind of like the next step. Now, one thing I, I've been meaning to talk about here is in the background, we see warthogs, all right? It's it's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on back there, but this will probably, in the background, will be a place that we can change our warthog skin as well as add customizations to it, all right? Because if you think about it, even in the background of these armor coatings, you can see what looks like the hollow table that we saw the weapons in the beginning of this video with. And that's really important because I think this whole area is going to be a customizable area. This is this is the main menu for customization. And when you look in the background, there's, I think, clues there as well as the customizable elite. But we um, also have to talk about the poses, all right? Notice that these poses are all different. I don't know how this might play into the main menu and lobbies. Maybe you can see other people's Spartans in their preset pose. They'll probably be something you can unlock, but they were, I think, in Halo 5, right? But maybe you'll be able to actually see your Spartan walking around or set some kind of animation on a loop so you can get a good idea as to how your Spartan is going to look uh, as you are adding changes to it, which I think would be great. And we've seen sort of done a little bit before, but... Um, you know, this is the next step, I think, adding poses, adding animations while you're editing your Spartan, um, as well as maybe changing the lights and maybe making some special modifications like uh, moving pieces around uh, independently would be really, really neat. Really make this Spartan your own. And then the armor coating could adapt. So if you wanted to add, you know, some kind of flashbang grenade to be statically on your Spartan, you could add it to, you know, the lower of your thigh, high up in your thigh, maybe the back of your belt or space diaper, whatever. But anyway, let's move on to the watchdog armor coating. All right, so this seems to be everyone's favorite so far, but it's also uh, the SR-152 armor coating skin. And this uh, is looking pretty sexy. I'm going to say that, all right? This is looking pretty great. So... Oh, where, where to start with this? All right, so this is, I love the gold visor and I love the shoulder pieces. Just like with the splinter though, this is looking really, really nice and really polished. Um, I just love the textures and take a look at the uh, weapon skin as well, guys. That is, my God, what is going on there? You can actually see, if you zoom up, you can actually see the UNSC logo on the AR. And this is something I said a long time ago. I think we should get rid of pizza skins and goofy skins. You know, I think that all skins should be honoring lore to some extent, like an Oni assault rifle and Oni pistol skin, things that kind of add to the game instead of make it look like a, a mod, you know, or Gary's mod or something like that. But take a look at his knuckles. All right. Take a look at the top of his fist here. Uh, that is different than what we've seen elsewhere. All right, it might be the same as the splinter coating. Kind of hard to tell, but um, notice just how, god darn, oh my god, dude, this is, uh, it, 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 you can see that there is a shoulder. By the way, that actually is a thing that I have not thought of. Shoulder pads, all right? It looks like maybe the, um, you know, the lower arm here might actually be, or the forearm, I guess, might be, changeable and so you got to pay attention here you know just looking at how these armors are actually different on all over the pieces kind of uh, give us the idea that those things are going to be independently customizable because someone got this working right again the sr152 reward is the armor coding not necessarily the armor as far as we know there might be still more rewards i think if you played halo 5 for I don't know, like a thousand hours and got SR-152. I actually don't know how long it takes to get that. Um, you should have a little bit more of a reward to it. And this is cool, but I don't know if it's really worth, you know, 
however long it takes to play Halo 5 to get 152, a 152 rank. But anyway, we actually see the same skin with this last image. And there is some variety here. I, I'm pretty sure this one is different from actually no it's not the space diaper is the same a lot of these pieces seem to be the same you know changing the knee pads separately like the right one could be different than the left one would be pretty freaking cool uh that shoulder seems to be different though his left shoulder here and we see the battle rifle here this is not something that i saw at first but this is uh the armor coating the sr152 armor coating the watchdog and it's looking pretty good, man. Red visor confirmed, as well as obviously the orange one from the other one. But I think this, so far, this is looking great. All right, so that's pretty much all that I want to say on the subject for now. Otherwise, when I start rambling. But guys, let me leave you with this. Do you think elites are going to be customizable? And if so, do you think they will get the same tre treatment as Spartans? Because before they didn't. All right, there was just presets that you could change, at least in Halo 3, I think, right? Um, it's been a while, but they certainly have always been treated as a second-class citizen as far as customization goes. And I think either if it's brutes or elites that are customizable in Halo Infinite, I'm hoping it's elites, then I think that they should get the same treatment and at least the same customizable options, the same amount of customizing, uh, customizable options <laughs> as the Spartans. Anyways, guys, I'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe and join me on the journey of following Halo for over nine years. All of this looks great. Um, Bravo 343. I'm really excited to see customization uh, fully realized and fully exposed as well because there is a lot of cool things here that uh, maybe I didn't even cover, but uh, certainly there is a lot of stuff coming soon. They said surprises uh, are in the works as well as many more things to share in the coming months. So maybe the next three months, three or four months, the hype train will really get kicking and we'll start seeing more of this, especially in the multiplayer beta or public flights, which are confirmed. Public flights are confirmed. So, or insider flighting, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one soon. Take care. Peace.